This is our ARCHICAD tip of the week. In this tip of the week, we're, we're talking about adding wood framing to the building structure. So once we have our walls defined, and we've actually got them um, uh, uh, designed in terms of deposits, uh, we can then actually uh, create our framing as part of our structure. And the framing can be done either, as I'll show you in a second, by just drawing the individual framing, and or by using a plugin that will do it automatically. And of course, that just depends on the detail level of what you're trying to do. This is a great example. One of our clients, um, Craig Wilson, uh, who has a design build company, uh, he does uh, design work for some of his clients. Uh, and as you can see here, he goes on um, to a very detailed level of it as well. Um, down, right down the level of, of even putting different brackets and stuff, as you can see here, hold downs and so forth. Um, this is actually from a different client down south in Southern California, um, uh, Rockefeller uh, Reset Architects. Um, but in this case, it shows very, uh, uh, is a good example. Uh, they wanted to show their framing in this project, both steel and wood. And, um, and they modeled this uh, individually using the column tool and the beam tool to do the, the wood framing here. Um, you know, really simple, really fast. Uh, and then they used it also to do some of their steel framing as well. Uh, so, you know, this can be done just by using the column tool and the beam tool. You can do some really nice, uh, very quick framing in ARCHICAD that may be all you need uh, for showing, you know, uh, uh, the framing in a project uh, or maybe just a portion of the project where, where you need that. You can also add on to ARCHICAD the um, framing add-on. Now, this is something that you download by going to... Um, I'll take you through a couple steps here. Uh, basically, go to grasshop.com, go to download, slash archicad, slash, uh, slash. And then uh, once you get to that, you're going to click the add-ons, uh, more about add-on goodies. goodies. Uh, and then when you go to that page, you'll go down to where it says download goodies for archicad. And then once you click that, you're going to then scroll down to the one that says USA. We'll click that. And then you'll go to the goodies page. <clears throat> on the goodies page, you download the Windows option here or the Mac option there. Once you've done that, it'll download and you need to install it. Okay, once it's installed, make sure Archicad is, is, is um, uh, closed, otherwise it'll ask you to do that. Um, so once you've installed it, uh, you'll open up Archicad and you'll be ready to go. One thing to keep in mind, really important. In order for the success accessories add-on to work, you need to load the accessories library. So you need to go to the file menu, go to library manager. Uh, you'll go to the, uh, once the dialog is open, you will then open up um, and, and, and go locate the accessories library. This library is loaded, uh, loaded uh, under ARCHICAD 21. So it's under the uh, applications folder if you're on the Mac. Programs folder if you're on the Windows. Once you get into either of those folders, you're going to go to the Graphsoft folder, and then you're going to go to the ARCHICAD 21 folder or ARCHICAD 22 in the near future. And then that accessories library is there. So choose, you'll be ready to go. Once that is ready to go, you then need to define um, uh, the wood walls to um, that are going to be framed. And an easy way to do that, oftentimes you may have more walls than I'm even showing here. Uh, so a really fast way of doing that is to go to your um, edit menu, go to find and select, and open up your find and select palette. And then you just simply add um, or select uh, an element type that are walls. And then add another option here and say fill pattern that is stucco 2x6 or composite wall that is. So in other words, you can just you know add in different options here. And that allows you to refine down to exactly the walls you want to select. So that way you're... If you've got a lot of the interior partitions that you don't want this to be applied to, uh, that it only selects the exterior walls or the exterior composite. Um, and then once you have that defined with, with the specific selections you want, that filter, hit the plus button, it will then select those wall uh, composites. Once you've done that, you can then go down to your uh, design menu, uh, design extras, accessories, and wall accessories. Okay, it's going to open up the wall accessories. 
in our wall accessories, you have a variety of options. You've got the accessory battered wall, canted wall, moldings and panels, and wall framing. If you pick wall framing, then you can start to, to um, define. Is it a stud size at 2 by 4 What is your header size? Is it load bearing? Uh, do you want top edge and bottom edge or not? Uh, and other options here as well. You can then go in and set up your connection settings. Uh, you can add new connections, you can delete connections. Uh, you can set up fire stops by adding fire stops in. And then finally, you can also just, if you click this little button here, uh, that button basically uh, will turn on uh, the option to show the 2D framing elevation on the floor plan. So you can see it actually shows uh, all the 2D framing. And in fact, uh, in this case, if it's uh, overlapping each other or if it's on the wrong side of the wall, you can actually click each of these individual uh, elevations. You can move them out. You can even rotate them. You can do whatever you want. But they're basically uh, editable in terms of moving around on your plan as required. So that is an option as well. And then finally, of course, it, it creates that. It creates it in the wall, and it creates it in 3D. And these are editable, meaning that I can actually go down to my floor plan, I can cl click these two bodies, and I can move them as, as I need to. Uh, now, I will tell you this is, you know, plug-in works, it works okay. I, I wouldn't call it the most um, uh, uh, detailed and accurate. Uh, you know, it does a pretty good job. There is one on the market called RD Framing, a lot more expensive, not, not free, uh, about, you know, $5,000 pl plug-in. So it's, it's really meant for kind of high-end uh, framing. But I will tell you, we've got some, uh, I've got some clients right now that are using it, and it is just fantastic for, you know, real, true construction uh, where you need more than just um, what I'm seeing here, but literally cut sheets and a lot more detail and, and uh, a lot more requirements that you might need for your project that that does provide. Um, but this is meant for sort of, I would say, you know, your sort of um, uh, design process uh, uh, for about 90% of what I think a lot of people do need. So 